you've da, 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 combination of superfoods, 15 grams of protein per hit, 2 grams of sugar, 110 calories, uh, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? Completely natural. Uh, just give a shout out to them. Thank you very much. They were good enough to send us some samples uh, for us to try. So yeah, I uh, love the packaging, I have to say. But uh, we're going to do a mix of that's two apples. Yeah. It is an apple. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. It's yeah. an apple. It's like a geometrically shaped apple. Yeah. So they've been kind enough to send us vanilla and... Chocolate. Chocolate. So we are going to do a test on water and almond milk. Yeah. So just to see how it goes. So the criteria we're basing this on is how it blends. So if it's smooth, if it's chunky, drinkability. Uh, I know that's probably not a real word. The thing is like, <laughs> uh, we've tried vegan protein shakes before. Joel went vegan for a while. I went vegan for a while. We had vegan protein shakes for a while. I just don't like the thickness of them. Yeah. They tend not to blend very well. No, it's just like... It's like drinking sour milk that hasn't gone sour. You know, it's like thick and clumpy. Mm. In saying that, because of that, we are actually on the quest to find the ultimate mm. vegan powder. Uh, also, we'll do a mix with water and we will do a mix with almond milk, just so you can see what the difference is. Yeah. So guys, for fairness, we're going to do 20 second shake, just so that we have uh, no feedback. Yeah, well, you didn't shake that long enough. Um, we're using eight. I'm using nine ounces of water. They say on the back here, use eight to ten ounces. So we're going to go with their recommendation, just so they're not saying that we didn't put enough water or too much. Water. Yeah, and it should be as far as recommendation. Yeah. All right. It's not a lot of water. Now, usually, if I have this much water with some whey, it's two scoops. It's like the perfect amount. It's not. It's not like too thick. It's not too runny, but. Normally, in my experience, having this much water, vegan protein shake, it's very thick. Woo! So, okay, so we're going with vanilla bean first, all in one shake, and we're having that with water. So, yes. Okay. Are you ready? All right, so. Timer. Three, two. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake. Big deal, boom, yeah, about halfway through. That's a long shake, really. 20 seconds. So, uh, bring back the 80s cocktail moment. So, one and stop. Alright. Uh, give a little swirl. Oh, there's like actual vanilla beans in there. Yeah. Well. That's nice. Yeah, alright, cheers. Yeah, no, it's not. Cheers. Alright, so. There is kind of like a powderiness to it, mm. which I tend to find with all vegan shakes. The taste is actually not that unpleasant, to be honest. It's not bad. I'm pleasantly surprised, to be perfectly honest. And I was going to be brutally honest if it was bad. Mm. But in my experience, like I said, having that much water with protein shake, it gets it's super thick. It's like unbearably thick. But this wasn't bad, so... No, um, that's actually quite smooth. There's kind of weird... Well, not weird. There's a creaminess afterwards, but there's also this kind of chalkiness to it. Yeah. Um, but in saying I that... I think those are chia seeds. They're yeah, chia they seeds. are. They're chia seeds. Oh. oh, well, it does say raw chia seeds. They go raw and low Yeah. yeah. Mm. So considering when you look at this, it has ooh, a plethora of... Different types of veggies, broccoli, kale, spirulina. When did you learn that word? Which one? Plethora. When I was young. Because you used it yesterday. It was the first time I heard you use it. Why are you I go through phases with words. It's terrible. I'll get stuck with plethora. Don't get too smart. You might, uh, <laughs> he's trying to make me look stupid. <laughs> um, but look, this used a, a, a mix of pea, brown rice, proteins, uh, as well as a whole heap of stuff. We'll put a photo of the front and back for, for all you people who are interested. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not uh, not bad. We will. I do have a weird aftertaste in my mouth, though. Like, it's like, I just want to drink water now. Like, you, you got it. Yeah, 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 you, yeah you, it's dryness you, you, that definitely <laughs> kicks in. It's like, all right, all let's right. try vanilla with uh, almond, almond milk. milk. Just like, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, four, two, three, down. Oh, that's thicker. Oh, that was like there thicker. were like some clumps that came out of there. Like, why did I get the clumps? Like, where? <laughs> I didn't. I got smooth creaminess. You know, Joel got like smooth creaminess. I just mm. got like these. I was just like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Now, I like, I like the cheese seeds. Yeah. Cheese seeds is a good touch. Good on you, you. I also have to say that this is the first time I've ever had protein powder with this combination of superfoods, like combination of superfoods ever. Normally, the protein powders I have is purely just protein. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time where they've actually included things like chia seed and all the other things that we've talked about. So, uh, yeah, to your health. Oh, okay. That's a lot better. Not only is that icy cold, there's an, uh, more of a nuttiness coming out, I have to say, from the um, almond milk. From the almond milk, and with the vanilla, it's actually really, really nice. The chalkiness is gone. Is gone completely. So yeah. with water, that would be um, look. I'd be honest. It'd be maybe about a six and a half out of ten. It goes up really to about an eight out of ten with the with the almond milk for me anyway. Yeah, and my only thing again i'll give it maybe seven and a half oh. just because vegan protein shakes have this aftertaste they have this there's this taste that every single one will have you can't get rid of it it's there forever if you're going to be having vegan protein shakes it's the taste that you will taste um you know what i mean it's just like that it is but i have to say with the almond milk that's kind of countermanded it for me like normally you get that real chalkiness and the dryness i'm not getting that now mm. So, um, um, but you might be still a little bit more scarred for yeah. the, the other one. So I have to say, I actually really enjoyed that one. That's actually, yeah. My only thing is, much better. if you're going to be drinking this stuff, just like swirl it up, shake it up, mm. and then drink it, and then do that again and drink it, because otherwise the cheese seeds are going to stick to the bottom, and you're not going to get the cheese seeds. Yeah. Anyway, it's good. No, I'm not. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, one, two, three. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Tell you getting a workout there. Uh, can you see me pass me those glasses? No. Thanks, Tom. I forgot the glasses. All right, here we go. So the pour. Pour the pour. It was a block of ice. It's like the... Yeah, not strong chocolatey smell. It is there though. Nice colour, bit of froth. It's like a Sunday latte of mocha. Cheers. Cheers. Oh wow. That's almost like um I don't know if you guys have had it, but there's a Particular Nestle uh, Nesquik? No, no, cherry ripe. It's got a really. It, it does have a fruitiness to it. Yeah, it's got like a cherry chocolate thing going on. That's actually really nice. Okay, definitely with cold water, the chalkiness is well and truly reduced a heap. Well, no, the chalkiness is still there for me. I'm still getting all that chalky goodness. I'm interested to see what this will be like with. Milk though, almond milk. Mm. I've got to say the actual chocolate for me, the blend. Yeah. Do you I think like it would that. be better with milk milk? Well, no, we can't do milk milk. I don't I don't have milk milk, but I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> It's a horrible man. I'm just instigating. <laughs> oh we're on, sorry. Okay. So <laughs> we've got chocolate now with almond milk. That chocolate with the water was like a thousand times better than the vanilla. Yeah, moving on. So we've got milk and chocolate. I'm going to milk and chocolate. Let's go.
There's yeah. almost like this like really super cocoa powdery chocolateness about it. Oh, it's right. so good. Jesus, why did it come so fast there? It definitely wasn't a true 20 because your first five seconds. I know because I started counting your shakes as opposed to seconds. It was just, I couldn't help it. <laughs> no, it's it looks almost like chocolate milk. Yeah. It's good. It's not too thick, but it definitely has that real kind of um, real kind of chocolate milk look, as you can see. Nice yeah. thick. Yeah, still not it's a very strong, cocoa powdery. Yeah, not a strong uh, smell of cho uh, chocolate, but anyway. Cheers. All right. That is some good. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Yeah, this is really nice. I would rather drink this than drink my you can't my gold standards um, wave. chocolate wave. Yes. You can make your ice cream with it. Yeah, I'm going to say order. that's, you bang that one. Yeah, that is good. That's a real bang one. Good. Um, yeah. What do you give vanilla out of 10? As I said, I still give vanilla probably about, in comparison to this, oof, it changes. Because I would say, where I say, about probably seven really for vanilla. That would be a home run. For me, mm -hmm. I'm giving, I'm going to give vanilla a six. Just because I'm not a big fan of vanilla protein shakes, regardless of whether it's whey or vegan. And so six for vanilla, but it's like a 10 plus. 11 out of 10 for the chocolate. The chocolate was so good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's actually the single best uh, vegan protein I've actually ever had. Yeah, that was All good. Right. That was so really good. thanks, uh, Youth. Yeah. Appreciate it. The chocolate was definitely a banger. Anyone who's looking to get some protein powder, yeah, I'd recommend Youth the chocolate. Mm. Uh, they do. I'm not sure how many other flavors they've got, but you can obviously find it online. We'll put a link to their website online uh, in the descriptor as long as, as in the descriptor in, we'll put it in the descriptor in the descriptor but it will um, yeah you'll have a photo of the back and front and so on yeah. so here we go don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and wait like this video and subscribe to our channel do it do it now we will do many more videos like this we'll probably compile a couple and do several tests in one yeah but yeah this was really dope thank you Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Okay, guys, so welcome to another wonderful adventure of protein tasting vegan stuff. So, we are now tasting vegan all in one. I think we might have to flip this image. Yeah, we will. Can you just read out what is actually on it? Okay, so it's boosted vegan all in one protein by North Coast Naturals. It's keto approved. Don't know what that means. Um, so we've got 21 grams of protein, one B C F U, one billion probiotics. Um, we have 39, just says 39, 39 greens, veggies, and fruits, zero grams of added sugar. So it's either going to be sweetened by something natural or it's going to taste like poop. Yeah. So look, it has some healthy fats, flaxseed, coconut oil, avo powder, chia seeds, um, the greens, spirulina, corella, uh, marine plankton. Lots of stuff. Blue grain algae. Oh no, I thought that was. Oh my good. god, this looks black. Red marine algae. Uh, okay, and antioxidants. Here's how it pours. That's not too bad. It is, without doubt, a greeny brown. Green. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of got a baby poo kind of color going on there. It's definitely a little bit, um, yeah, baby poo color. What so, on earth? I think that's. Look, I'm gonna lie. I'd say that's probably the uh, spirulina. Maybe it's the blue green algae. Where I come from in Australia, blue green algae is actually not a good thing. So I'm not quite sure why it. If it is good or not, I'm now completely. We'll we'll do some research on that and find out. So, so uh, it pours nicely, doesn't seem too thick, but let's just shut up and, and drink it. Yeah. Bottoms up. Cheers. All right, that's definitely good. Whoa.
that is an interesting flavor combination. Um, I'm not sure what the flavor is supposed to be. It's supposed to be chocolate. We have there to is, finish it. Come on. There is some cocoa there somewhere. <laughs> All right, it's very awesome. Whoa, it's a. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit dry. It's dry. It's dry protein shake. And we, <laughs> it is. I've got to say, like the after effect is actually drying my mouth. It's it's kind of unique. Um, it's de- so it's got a, it's got a spirulina taste. I've taken spirulina before, like you chew it or you swallow it whole, but it's. Oh. Yeah. So that was. Sh- Shaking up, there's a lot of sediment. It's about like, if you can see down the side of my glass, there's a lot of sediment, um, which I'd say is from whatever the additives are. There is cocoa flavor at the back of the taste, at the back end of the taste, I should say. As far as the rest goes, look, it's definitely not the worst. Um, Look, I'm gonna give it to you in simple terms. If I had an option, interesting I'm not having protein shake or buying this I would not buy it I would not have protein shake would you have that every day a big plug of it bearing in mind you just had a small bit okay that's a half serve that's a quarter serve really. quarter serving um I couldn't do it Look, at the end of the day not all protein shakes are made equal uh, by any <laughs> standards and I have to say North Coast Naturals, Keto approved. Yeah, you need to do some work on yours. I'm sorry to say that it's got to be. It isn't. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not the worst vegan tasting uh, shake I've ever had. I have had some well and true doozies. There are some amazing ones out there that are really repulsive. <laughs>